spiral staircases up. Jamie Oliver room. wants to give one of his students the opportunity of a lifetime. My aspiration is that this place could be doing 10, 14 grand in a year. Over the past five years, he has been taking unemployed kids without hope, training them to work in kitchens. The is turning over with all this stuff, so what you but he has always had a dream that they would one day run their own restaurants. Now the first of them is about to get the chance. The next stage of the competition for Jamie's pub will be managing backstage. Each of the four contenders will now have to show they can command a team of chefs in the hectic kitchens of the smart Great Eastern in the heart of London. Over 150 people have booked for lunch today. This time, quiet man John goes first. He's been trained all week, and now today he'll have to head up a staff of 12 and coordinate them to get 150 meals out. All under the watchful eye of head chef Stuart Lyle. Get more precise, yeah? To follow five. Tell them what you want, yeah? Let's so okay. fucking mingle. How long for uh, two, three or... 306? That's 306 here. You've got the bloody thing on the pass. He's not projecting himself enough. Not all the guys are just talking amongst themselves. I'm getting a bit confused out here. Uh, one more broccoli, please. Cancel that broccoli. There's two here. You can't see you're getting a bit confused. OK. OK. Because that's going to panic them. OK? OK. You need to really fucking take a hold of me in that. Hold in this okay. kitchen, because it's going to take up. Can you do me three, uh, three mix salad right now? Yeah. I really feel that it's, it's gone too far for me to actually collectively get. <laughs> there we go, that's a good <laughs> That's it. Rather than being too quiet like John, Taz is too loud. Two Davis, one catch, please. And a spinach and a broccoli. What's your Cornell, chef? It looks like a pile of shit. Ah. It's the following week at the Great Eastern. Aaron completes his training. The orders from the dining room are quickly piling up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lemon salt cash. And I've got two special this. left. He seems little better at managing the kitchen than managing the front of house back at the electric restaurant. He's got no command and no respect from the guys. Oh, yeah, he's completely lost it. Yeah, you can see he's, 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 he's because he's starting to get frustrated with himself because he's speaking to himself rather than projecting his voice up. 301 and 208. Yeah, I know, but you're in my ear. Can you just wait a minute? You need to tell him. I know. To take me out here to be in your ear and put a customer in your ear. Somebody paying your fucking bills. Will Dennis do any better? Yes, give me some new potatoes, please, straight away. Dennis's confidence that sometimes seems cocky serves him well in the kitchen. Slinging in the plate. You can hear his, his voice now, he, you know, he's controlling it. He's got the right tone at all times he's telling them. All right, guys, just slow down, yeah? Don't put nothing else up until I just sort myself out, all right? Yes, chef. But he's doing really, really well. I'm really impressed. Really. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You impress me no end. Okay. Unbelievable. You're absolutely fantastic. All right? Yeah. And I want to give you a pat on the back as well. I'm going to give you a little hug. Is that all right? Yeah? Come on. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Been brilliant today. You're absolutely superb. It's four weeks into the training, and the second test of managing the kitchen is finished. So how were they? Well, it was tough. Really tough. I mean, I don't know where you want to start, but uh, probably Taz. What a character. And anyone can shout, yeah. but no, is she, she in control? The rest of it, she was controlling really well. Aaron, um, a really, really nice, humble guy. You know, he wants to be the nice guy with everybody, you know? He wants to be everybody's friend. He yes. wants everybody to be kind of, you know, pulling in the same direction, you know, and he's, you know, which is probably... Which is an interesting... Because when you're everyone's friend, it's pretty hard to run a... Yeah. ..a business, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Um, John. Johnny Boy. Mr Johnny Boy Relahan. The quiet man. Great guy, but just, my God, just... Quiet. He just didn't have control. Dennis? I mean, very cocky. 
a little bit of familiar, a little bit of kind of I know kind of better sort of thing. You know, I know where I am. It's it's my environment sort of thing. It's going to go smooth this one. But I'd actually say he kind of matured towards the end of the week, and he he highly impressed me. To oh, he did. Yeah, he, he took control of the pass. He was confident about yeah, what he was doing. Right. And so the food was, looked right. Yeah, yeah, it was spot on. Yeah, not yeah. it, not at all. Enough. Good point. And he was aware of checking the actual, you know, the food itself, not just case lights on the plate. Send it. I was really impressed with him. Yeah. Following his tough experience in the kitchen at the Great Eastern, John asks to see Jamie. Mr. Relahan, how you doing, yeah, brother? Good, thank you. You all right? Yeah, really good. Sit down, big fat. Do you want a, do you want a drink? Um, no. You been here long? Uh, just about a half an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. oh how's it going? It's going, it's going good. Been thinking a lot as well. Working along with it, it was a great experience. Um, but, you know, I feel like actually kind of backing out from it now because right Why? now um, I, I don't feel the passion is there to open a business right now. I, I feel it's not time for me right now to settle down. I respect you for saying right it's not ready for me now but I've learned a lot but I'll be back in a few years. Jamie invites the remaining three back to his Essex house to see if they can make the leap to running their own place. I'm having a party next Friday and you're kind of pretty much running it. Um, there's, it's Woodstock, 1968, love all, serve all, peace. We're here in the meadow, right? And I've got three of the biggest teepees you'll ever see, right? You've got a tent each, right? They're exactly the same. You've got the same kitchen. The only rules is, is it better be nice. And the only other rules is you've got 1,500 quid each, which is a lot of money to pull it off. It's the day of Jamie's birthday party. This looks fucking great. My very own Woodstock. Three remaining contenders are each creating a restaurant for one night in a tent, complete with their own menus, kitchen to run, assistants and waiters. Washing the red onions. Taz did best front of house with the electric and hopes her Thai cooking will clinch the pub for her. Is this Big Al, is it? Yeah, Big Al. Aaron is trailing, but has gone for an Italian fee, Jamie's favourite cuisine. After his success at the Great Eastern, Dennis is confident that Jamie's friends will choose his Spanish restaurant. OK, I'm surrounded by some of my best friends and special people, as you all well know. And you're all going to get fed tonight, OK? But I need your help, right? I know that some of you are big foodies. I need you to be customers. I need you to go by, look at the atmosphere. Restaurant one, restaurant two, restaurant three. I want you to queue at the one that touches your bun. <laughs> the three competitors are all bosses for one night. Taz's Thai restaurant is instantly appealing. I, feel, I really want to eat in Italian, but I feel it's a bit quiet. I think I'm going to go for the... The paella, I like the sound of that being cooked Go on in boys. a big pan. Vote with your feet. Where's everybody? <laughs> Taz has got the most people in so far, but as yet, her guests don't have any food either. How's the service here? Because I can't see any well, service. Well, it's a bit slow. <laughs> it's a little bit slow. Excuse me, you don't know where... Aaron seizes an opportunity. <laughs> you ain't even been served yet. They're on their third course over there, guys. This girl I've got a table waiting. <laughs> Italian's doing well, isn't it? Big girls, tavern. Oh! Let's party! Can you throw one of them on that? Over there? Yeah, please. I just have a feeling I don't have the most customers, which I'm a bit worried. I've got some great chefs here today to help me out. They've gone out their way and we've made some delicious food and I hope you enjoy the next course. Yeah. There's a little bit of atmosphere going on over there. I, I, I'm being drawn, I'm being drawn. Jesus, it's all going off here. Can I sit here? Do us a little plate of pork, big bollocks. Al smashed it, didn't he? Good chat, that's what I like to see. Aaron still has a surprise in store. Thank you for making the birthday special. Thank you. Clean down and let's have a drink, shall we?
Aaron has been a clear winner at the party. Each of them has now done best at one test. To choose a winner, each will have to make a final pitch for the pub. They'll have to charm the locals. Come up with a realistic plan for doing it up. I've put aside £200,000 I'd like to borrow. And learn all about the business of country pubs with Jamie's dad. Before Jamie chooses which of the three wins the restaurant and gets to run it.